friends welcome back today we will discuss about the process flow chart or process flow diagram which is also an important topic as related to the new product development or if you are working in industry you should uh, know about the process flow diagram or process flow chart that how to make it and how to read it okay so friends starting first with an oval circle as i shown here or it's an oval rectangle okay in some companies uh, this symbol is preferred or in some company this symbol is preferred so this this symbol represent us the start or end of a process okay these symbols are used to when a process is started or when uh, the process is one process is ends okay after that we have this direction symbol okay this direction symbol what it will symbolize it symbolize the flow direction of flow okay this will symbolize the direction of flow or process okay that in which direction our process is going on or our process flow is going on okay from one step to another this we get by this direction symbol that in which direction our process is going on okay after that we have this rectangle symbol okay this rectangle symbol will represent the process or the operation okay that in somewhere any operation is going on or any process is going on we will symbolize by a rectangular box okay so this rectangle or square will show instructions actions and activities which are going on in a product okay after that we have this decision symbol okay we will know this by a diamond box okay this is used when we take any decision okay like if some uh, while inspecting a part okay we will get some rejected parts okay then we will take the decision about that rejected part that we have to scrap it or we have to uh, rework it okay so all these things is uh, done under this okay so after that we have uh, this triangle this will show the storage of material okay when somewhere material is stored like if we purchase some raw material okay then it will go to store first it will symbolize this here okay or like if we have produced or have done production of some material and then it will go for inventory okay then it will also show here that is about the storage okay after that if in the process there is a delay or wait we will show it by this d d form symbol okay this will represent delay and wait okay this is the symbol of a document like if we have rejected some material or if we have okay some material okay then we will uh, we will put a document along that which will justify why we have scrapped it how why we have rejected it all the details that are given in a document okay so this is the symbol which symbolizes the document okay so these are the main symbols which we are used which, which are used in a production or uh, in a production process to show a process flow chart or process flow diagram okay now we will understood understand this also with an uh, with the help of an example also okay okay friends now we will try to make a process flow chart okay so first uh, we will receive a raw material okay so from receiving a raw material our process go started raw material received okay after that what we will do we will inspect that material inspection of that material will go on okay or if we if there are some bop parts like brought out parts which we have to use in our production process okay that we will also get it as ready made okay bop parts okay if in inspection okay so we will get here what we will get we will get an inspection report or receiving report okay we will give it a this receiving receiving report will also given to us okay we will receive what inspection report okay after that after inspection what will be done decision will be made okay that material is okay or not okay okay if material is not okay 
what material is not okay okay we will send that material to the supplier one process started here one process is completed here okay send to supplier in this we will what we will attach we will attach a document okay what we will attach a quality alert note that whatever rejection we have found in while inspecting so uh, that should not come again okay after that the material which is okay that will be stored okay material will be stored here okay this is the storage okay so okay material will be stored here and this is your okay material okay after that the material we will send it for production process okay production will go on okay after that what will happen inspection will be done okay or not okay okay what will happen here that some material which is not okay okay what will happen it will go to which can be reworked okay which can be reworked rework material will again go to a production line where it can be reworked and can be rectified or can be made it okay okay second thing the material which cannot be processed or cannot be make it okay that material will, will be counted as rejected material okay and where it will go it will go to your scrap yard where it will go it will go to scrap yard so this is your scrap material okay one process one another process is completed here this should uh, will uh, this should become with your red color okay no green color so your uh, rejected material will come here where it will go it will go to scrap yard with along with this there is a document also that is your scrap note we have detail about why it has scrap is given on okay the other material which is okay material okay that will go to this side okay which, which material is this this is your okay material okay so okay material will go for for what what was your other process it will go for packing and labeling packing and labeling okay so uh, what according to the standards given in the document what what all instructions packing standards are given in that not according to which packing is done okay after that we have another process that is your pdi pdi is your pre dispatch inspection okay which is done before we are giving our material to the customer okay that is your uh, along with this pda report is also listed pda report uh, about the material we have inspected okay after that decision is made that material is okay or not okay the material which is okay is dispatched to customer okay material okay or if there is some problem uh, which is found in pre dispatch inspection okay that material is sent again to your production department okay for disposal decision that of no of not okay product that the material 
can be reworked or not according to this they will check again okay they will rectify the material okay and can be sent as okay material or can be rejected to the scrap yard so this is your total process flow diagram or process flow chart okay if you have any doubt you can comment me okay thank you